Hey there, you guys. So good to have you on today. We are going to be talking about Instagram 101. Now, we are having some issues here on Facebook with the live streams this week, I've noticed. And uh, for example, it's freezing, it's not bringing on co hosts, whatever. They're doing updates in the system, and this is what happens. So, patience, my friends. <laughs> so, I'm just going to jump right in because I'm going to be leading the corporate call here in about 25 minutes, so I'll have to be hopping off. But I thought we would lay a foundation for you all for your Instagram because this will help you to have even a bigger reach. So we're gonna just dive right in and get started. So I'm curious how many of you already have an Instagram account? And if you do, type it in the comments below. You can go to mine, it's my name, Ely Slaninger on Instagram. And you, um, what I want you to think about when you're thinking about setting up an Instagram account is it's a little bit different than Facebook. Facebook is more visual and um, I still have more reach on Facebook than I do Instagram, but I want to be building Instagram because it is owned by Facebook now. And so I'm also building an Instagram following alongside of what I do on Facebook, even though my reach is bigger on Facebook. When I have my live videos on Facebook, I get thousands of views. When I go live on Instagram, I get less than 100. So it's just something that I decided I would build over time. I'm approaching 10,000 followers. And like I said, something I've been building over time. You don't need to um, hear this or watch this video and go, oh my gosh, I need to be on Instagram because it's not necessarily gonna be your best avenue. I'm not sure. Um, anytime that I've decided that I'm gonna build a following on social media, whether it be YouTube, which now I've reached over 2 million views on my channel, or Facebook, thousands and thousands, probably over a million because I've made thousands of videos. But, um, and then my Instagram. So what I did was I, I identified the platform that I wanted to learn and I focused on learning it for 30 days. Anytime I've learned a new skill set or a new um, sales skill or personal, per, like personal development, I will dedicate 30 days and I will master it. Um, it's my belief that when we learn something, we will know it once we start to teach it. So as leaders, make that your decision. You're going to learn it. You're going to teach it. You're going to learn it. Oh, sorry. Learn it, do it, teach it. Learn it, do it, teach it. Okay? So 30 days. Who's committed to this for 30 days? Drop a comment. Say hi. Hi, guys. Amy, sorry. I just started rolling here because I've got to hop on corporate call and I don't know what's up with Facebook this week and our live videos, but whatever. We're rolling. So yes, we're dedicating 30 days. Now, here's the thing. With your Instagram, Instagram is more niched. Do you know that word niche? N-I-C-H-E, niche. And I want you guys to know that the riches are in the niches or niches because when you are very focused on your target audience or ideal client on Instagram specifically, um, you will have more impact and be more magnetic. So what are each of you known for? What are you passionate about? It could be that you are passionate about health and wellness. Ding, 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 right? Um, maybe your workouts. Maybe it's you wanna teach nutrition and nutrition facts. Maybe you wanna teach mindset. Maybe you love uplifting and inspiring people from what you read in the Bible or in personal development books. So identify who is it that you would speak to most directly that you, like think of the person in your life, those soulmate type people where you guys just click and you have those commonalities. That's what Instagram is for, for you, okay? So niche, 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 <laughs> niche down to whatever it is that you want to target on. Like for example, it could be that you know you can't go all of the above, Amy, because it's too broad. On Instagram, you've got to narrow down. And you can, again, try it for 30 days, try it for 60 days, see what happens, change it later, but niche down on Instagram specifically, okay? Because your hashtags that you choose are going to be relevant to the topic. Does that make sense? So Amy, throw out an idea for me. Maybe it's um, mom of young kids. Amy Robinson, how many kids do you have? Six? So hashtag mom of six. 
Like you should be throwing that on Instagram all over the place because there are not many people that have that many kids. And um, Wendy Gendro, you know, she's mom of five, so she'll always be hashtagging that. But basically, here you are, yes, Amy, a mom of six, running a million dollar organization. I mean, if you're not there yet, you will be very soon. And so, hello, that is something that's very unique and very um, inspirational for people. So here's how you grow on Instagram, is when you make a post, to that target audience. Instagram loves a beautiful photo, especially if it's photo of faces. People love faces, right? Or they, I also noticed they love interior design. If you have an incredible knack for interior design, <laughs> incorporate some of that into your photo. Um, I know people, uh, the eye is drawn to red and bright blue, um, bright pink. So you might even choose color theme for your pictures that go on Instagram. Um, always use the same filter so that it has the same look to it for every photo. And um, you can check out my Instagram, see how I'm doing it. I'm doing six photos, three word cards, we call those. And um, so it looks very nice on the layout. But essentially when you have a post to go up and schedule them to go up frequently, you wanna go up, go have a post go on every day, at least once a day, three times is best. Um, and like I said, you gotta start deciding if this is where you wanna put your time. I don't know, it's up to you. But for me, I spend a little bit of time there on Instagram every day. So you'll probably notice my stories are always on point. Um, I incorporate a lot of my lifestyle, my, my product, my inspiration, and um, I'm this close to 10,000 followers. Once I hit 10,000 followers, I'll have the swipe up feature on my stories where I can plug them into a link. And um, so I'm really close, so go click like on my page. <laughs> but I, uh, what I want you to do is once you post your post, you interact with the people who comment, okay? You interact with the people who comment, you right away. So you wanna post a post and then be on there for 10 to 20 minutes where if people are interacting with you, you're commenting back. It's social networking. You want to be social and network. So tag other people on other people's posts. Um, go to your explore page, which is the little magnifying glass icon, and type in some things related to your ideal market, your ideal client, target audience, and um, like, if it's inspirational quotes, um, or maybe you typed in John Maxwell, or you know, you're gonna see on that explore post all the people who are using that hashtag. A hashtag is simply a search word. Okay, it's kind of like you took a word and typed it into Google and it brings up all of those blog posts. Well, on Instagram, you type in a hashtag and it will bring up all the posts that are using that hashtag. Ideally, you're choosing hashtags that only have 50 to 100,000 followers because that's a niche, right? So it's gonna take some playing around and popping on to other people's posts that are talking about maybe a similar topic that you're passionate about and seeing what hashtags they use. Then in your phone on the Notes app, you keep track of all of your different hashtags. You can use up to 20 hashtags that used to be 30. I would be safe to say 20 today in your post. So um, you write your blog, blog type post. Again, people love a blog type post. It's something where you're kind of pouring your heart out and you're being honest, authentic, real you. Your voice is coming through in the caption. And then you have to... Um, there's just so many tricks on Instagram, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm like, ah, I'm going to overwhelm you. <laughs> but um, basically, with your uh, when you're doing this post, you want to put your hashtags in the way bottom of your caption. Like you want line breaks in between the caption and where you're posting your hashtags. And so you have to click your little icon at the bottom left of your screen when you're typing. And I do this in the notes app because I find it to be easier and then I copy and paste it into the caption of the Instagram. And what I'll do there is I will do the line break. So if you click your icon that takes you to the numbers and the comma, the grammatical stuff, um, you can. there's actually a return button on that screen. This is tricky, I know. <laughs> but then, um, and I can drop it in the comments so you guys can see what I'm talking about here for line break. But it just looks better visually to have your caption and then your a, a white space and then your list of hashtags. Got it? Okay. Um, you can also put those hashtag that list of hashtags into the first comment 
um, after you've posted your post. And then again, spend 10 to 20 minutes interacting with the people who like, comment, or tag somebody in your post. Um, on your explore page, you can uh, niche that down to what you like and are interested in now. Uh, Instagram lets you do that. So right now, we're redoing some of our rooms. So I have decor as one of my topics that I'm looking at and paying attention with and networking with people and have already helped them start up their free accounts. Um, you, Yeah, you know what, Amy, you should clean up old posts and delete them, I've done that. In fact, um, Instagram lets you archive them now. So if you go to that post, you can click the archive button. It doesn't delete it permanently, but then it it saves it for you. Also, if you guys have a really good picture, you'll notice on mine, um, I will reuse really good photos that have gotten a lot of traction in the past. I'll post it again with a fresh caption and some fresh hashtags, and then I'll archive the old post. And so it keeps my content relevant to what people like to see on my page. And um, also, I get to reuse stuff. I'm all about reusing and simplifying. And so if you can delegate this to anybody and pay them, it's worth it. So a lot of um, younger generation, maybe you know somebody, a neighbor, or one of your kid's friends even, I don't know, but maybe one of them could help you get your Instagram up and running. I certainly have paid people to help me with getting my Instagram up and running. I hired a guy from, he's from um, Canada, and he was in college when he helped me get my Instagram set up a few years ago. Really good, really helpful, really relevant because he's that younger generation. Um, and then a lot of the time, I've just spent time learning from experts. I watch what they do. I will copy their style. Um, I'm a chameleon. I can watch people and I can implement it and it works for me because I get into the mindset of this is gonna work, right? So I don't doubt myself. I have no room for doubt when I do something new and I'm adopting a new skill set. Um, now, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I got everything. Follow-up is important. So if you are doing Instagram stories, basically people just wanna see you in your day. So they wanna see your behind the scenes. So making a quick story, like when you go live on Facebook, go over to your Instagram and say, hey, I'm going live on Facebook, or screenshot um, yourself live on your Facebook and then put a picture of it on your Instagram story and say, hey, you guys, check out my new uh, story on my profile. Now, once you have the swipe up feature, you'll be able to link directly to that video on your Facebook. So that'll be awesome. Um, also with stories, the more stories you make throughout the day, the you'll be shown first on the list of people who have stories on Instagram. And then that's a great way for you to network too. You can interact with the people who watch your story, ask them questions. Always ask questions because that leads to conversation. That also helps people to feel like you listen rather than you're just throwing up all of your information about your product on them, which they, don't, they do not like. <laughs> so start with asking a question like, how's it going for you? Or, you know, I saw this XYZ on your, your profile and, what, you know, when did you get to go on that trip or whatever, right? So um, just think of a few questions that would help you to start the conversation with somebody and start to incorporate those, whether that's on Instagram or on Facebook. Anytime people comment on your posts, whether that's Instagram or Facebook, make sure that you are commenting back and then you use that as follow-up. You start to interact with the posts that they're putting up on their profiles. Okay, you're liking, you're commenting. You'll notice that people will start to follow you because they see you on their friends' posts and, and interacting. And that's just building a tribe, you guys, because you've got commonalities and people like the same people. It's actually called tribalism in anthropology. It's a very interesting study, but people like people that they're like, basically. That's why Jim Romo always said that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. The average weight, the average income, the average belief system. Um, we can see that all over all over social media. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm getting a text. They're reminding me that I'm going to hop on corporate line now, so I hope that you'll join in. I really would love for you to drop your comments below. This was a very basic introduction to Instagram. Um, but remember, when you're getting your Instagram set up, choose your niche, or also known as target market, um, make regular posts, one to three posts per day, and spend 10 to 20 minutes interacting with the people who like or comment on your post. Go to their profiles, like and comment on their stuff, um, answer questions, ask them questions in Messenger or um, 
on their posts so that, that the interaction starts. The reason it's important to like or comment right away on someone when you post something on Instagram is because it's like Facebook. The algorithm is looking for the posts that get interaction right away. They're interesting, so they're gonna feed them higher on the newsfeed. Now, um, on the Explore page, go there and set your parameters for what you're interested in. Start interacting with the people who are on those pages. You might be able to do some sort of collaboration down the road, which we can cover on a future video. And then, of course, stories. Go on to stories and make lots of stories because as people see you liking and commenting on Instagram, on other people's posts, it will show your profile picture as a pink ring and that means that you have stories, that you have relevant stories because every 24 hours they delete. So make sure that you are uploading those stories. Also, you can set a setting in your Instagram um, profile that will save all of the stories to your phone and then you can go onto Facebook and upload stories there as well because Facebook is really maximizing the stories feature now and um, they're showing people that are using that feature uh, to the friends that they're connected to on Facebook. So that's another way to boost your exposure. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a comment and let us know what it is that you need help with. What did you take away from this? What was a new, um, new tip that you learned today? And I look forward to doing this again very soon. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.